direction to move around. Let's see, you. Let's put this back at the beginning of all the others. Let's um, turn it up a lot. Let's just put that right here. Let's actually turn it down some. Turn down the spinning. Turn that back down to one. All right. Actually, bring this up a little bit further. Like two keyframes. So we get this kind of effect. Oh, that was a my bad on my part. Looked better the other way, I think. There it goes. Drag it out a little bit more. Let's see. I don't think I did enough uh, relief. Oh, no, that was the problem right there. I didn't turn blend with original all the way down. So let's move that back just a little bit. Um, come back into the adjustment layer. Um, let's get the relief turned back down some. About 730. Looks pretty good. There he goes. Stops right there. Looks a little bit weird. I want to stop him a little bit earlier, actually. Stop him right here. Get that lined up. Let's move this back some. There we go. That looks pretty good. All right. Now we're going to click on the adjustment layer again. Effect. Um, distort. Distort. Bulge. We're going to drag this bulge over here. We're going to keyframe it where the other ones are keyframed. We're going to um, turn the, down the bulge height. Actually going to do that so it looks like he's being sucked in. Let's turn this down some though. Turn it down to the height of the mask, the width of the mask. There you go. Now we're going to um, keyframe it starting at zero. Turn it down to about 0.8. And then we're going to add the last keyframe as soon as he leaves the picture back down to zero. Enter. All right, so now we got this cool little disappearing. There you go. And then we're going to add one more effect to it. We're not going to do anything with this effect, just going to add it and it's glow. So actually we're going to have to actually keyframe this. So we'll turn we'll keyframe the intensity at the beginning. Um actually I meant to turn the beginning keyframe to 0. Zero and then back down to zero. There you go. So you have this. That looks pretty good. All right, so now he's disappeared, and now we're going to have to bring him back. So we're going to duplicate the fly video. 
and then you're going to come up to uh, layer, pre-compose, move all, move all attributes into new comp. And now we're going to open this composition and we're going to duplicate the layers and we're going to get the top fly video to let's see difference all right now since um I already know where my point is, where no one is standing. Um, should have told you this before I did the difference. Um, see, uh, get rid of that. See, now there's no one standing there. We're going to go to time, freeze frame. So now it doesn't move at all. And then we're going to bring this layer back in. And now you see that uh, he's weirding out like this. You see him, he's coming in and everything. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, pre-compose these layers now. Uh, layer, pre-compose. Okay. Now we're going to um, apply some effects to this. Alright, so um, first effect is um, color correction levels. And now what we're going to do, uh, let's see where it starts. Grab this right here. Just trying to get mine all the way to the beginning of the thing. Alright, so it starts right there. Now with the levels, you're going to want to turn this all the way down to here and then bring this all the way down to here. What and don't worry about all this fuzziness and you know all that because that's what happens right there. It makes this little So now you just see him and don't worry about these spots in the back. That car's back there, I know that much. Um, that's going to get in the way later, but I'm not going to worry about it in this tutorial. Um, now we're going to apply effect, color correction, hue and saturation. And now we're just going to turn the master saturation all the way down. There you go. Now all we have is the uh, gray and white area right here. And then we're going to apply another effect, color correction, colorama. Go to output cycle. Go to ramp gray. And we're going to apply another white. Let's see. I'm just going to apply another white. Okay. We're going to stick it right here. So now we got this basically mat. We're basically going to mat this area where he's walking. Let's see. That looks pretty good. We'll mess with this a little bit more. So we don't want all that fuzziness though. So let's. That looks pretty good for right now. Alright, 